All right, composing transformations really means the same thing as combining transformations. Combining. And that means we're basically just going to do two different transformations to the same figure. Yeah? And one of the big ones we're going to bring in here that we haven't talked much about so far is reflection. If you reflect a picture or reflect an image, what you're doing is taking that same image and flipping it over a specific line. So if I have, say, a little triangle here, and I'm going to reflect it over a vertical line like this, I'm going to take that image and I'm going to flip it over the line so that if this is A, B, C, then when I flip it, my triangle is going to be the same distance on the other side of the line from the line. So this distance here will be the same on both of them. And my B will stay on top, but A is going to be flipped to the other side, like I would if I was going through a mirror. And C will be on the left-hand side now. So the one still still the closest one to the line, but the triangle itself is flipped over to get to the other side. That's a reflection. If you combine a reflection with a translation or with a slide, we get what we have in our first figure up here. First, we're taking this blue pentagon and we're reflecting it over the x-axis, so reflecting it top to bottom. And then we're translating it or sliding it from right to left, or from left to right, I mean, to go from the red place to the green place. So this is a glide reflection. In other words, it's like a, a slide or a um, translation reflection. Yeah? If we reflect over a parallel line, in other words, if we have, say, a blue figure here, and we reflect it by h units, in this case we'll say, we'll pretend that this is a reflection of four units. If I reflect it over this per, uh, vertical line by four units, then that means that there's four units between this point here and this point here, and then another four units from this point here to this point here. So we have two parallel lines, and what we discovered is that if we were to reflect it twice, first flip it over so it becomes red, and then flip it over again so it becomes green, it's going to be the same as if we'd just taken the original figure and slid it to the right that same two distances that we originally flipped it. <laughs> so if we go from blue to red by going four units, and then from red to green by going four units, we could have just gone from blue to green by going eight units. So an H unit reflection over two parallel lines is the same as a 2H unit slide because we flipped it twice. We flipped it and mirrored the image and then we flipped it again and mirrored it again. Well, a mirror of a mirror is what we started with. I know that sounds confusing, but it's nice to know that you can simplify the process. Instead of having to worry about actually flipping it over twice and seeing what happens, you can just slide the thing to the right. And the same thing happens when you have intersecting lines. If up here on the top right, if I go from my blue figure to my red figure, by reflecting over this angled line right here. And then I do it again, and I go from the red figure to the green figure by reflecting over that angled line again. The same result going from blue to green occurs if I were just to take my original blue figure and rotate it by twice whatever that inside angle was. So if my original reflection from blue to red was a you know, uh, around an angle of 40 degrees, and then I do it again around an angle that's another 40 degrees, I could have just rotated the original figure 40 plus 40 or 80 degrees. So again, it's just another way of simplifying the same process. Instead of having to calculate what happens as I take this blue figure and flip it once, and then flip it again, because I'm mirroring a mirror image, it's the same process as if I just rotated the thing from its original position into the new position, and I just used twice the distance that I would have otherwise reflected it or flipped it. I know this process seems a little complicated, but you're gonna, I think you'll figure it out when we do a few of the example questions. So let's let's take a look at those. Scroll down the page and let's go through a few of the example questions. I think we'll even do a, maybe an extra one and see if we can help with the process a little.